Greetings everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Virginia Gonzalez. I am going to go ahead and invite you to join me and stay with me. If you would, if you don't have a lot of time to, to watch a 15 minute video and you want to come back to it later on, you can, or you can fast speed it um, in the settings. Let me make sure that I am recording. Yes, I am. All right, so I'm going to uh, give you 15 minutes or share rather with you 15 minutes of glue time with me and go ahead. I'm putting the timer on and there it is I'm gonna put it to the side all right so today I am going to uh, work on possibly the in 15 minutes I'm gonna work on right now on um, let me put these to the side on a junk journal that I created uh, I call it rustic uh, farming junk journaling and I am going to, I'm inspired by this quote that says, you will reap with speed what you have sown. Um, and the author of that quote is Chrysler's Bet. And I am honored to understand the details of those teachings. And in order to that, I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna include it in my pages, possibly. Um, so 15 minutes, um, that should give me enough time to Go ahead and start gluing some of the things that I already have here. Uh, am I in frame? Yes, I am. Okay, so today I put the camera a little bit on an angle. Uh, my name is Virginia Gonzalez. For those of you that have not noticed what my name is, easy to remember. Virginia like the state, Gonzalez like Speedy Gonzalez. And why do I say that? Because um, YouTube will has a system in place where they uh, sh share, uh, suggest channels, right? So I want to invite you to, on a weekly basis, if you can, check to see if I've been able to upload a video. And if you could please check it, uh, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, put a positive comment that will um, enhance the channel and make everybody feel good by your comments. So please welcome to do that. Um, and so um, I tell you that because like I have um, YouTube channels that I follow that I'm, you know, that I like the creative that I support the creative content of these people um, and I might have I have about maybe seven um, that I am always making sure that I check on them check on them periodically if YouTube has not sent me a suggestion on what they are doing then I will go ahead and search to make sure that I didn't miss anything right and when I don't see that uh, that they have uploaded anything um and that i know that they're going through uh tests you know in life going through what some adversity or facing some adversity i pray for them uh in petition and um and i look forward to the other upcoming videos so i would like to ask you for your support in growing this channel all right so this is rustic why do you want to say rustic because i got whatever i wanted and i made two signatures and it's really rough like rough like it's not high-end looking commercial looking sorry for that I shook the the um, I shook I shook the tripod so look it's easy to create something here because this already has uh, a white canvas uh, uh, to start so I am going to just look for anything and start gluing all right let me start gluing what do I have and start creating maybe a background of something all right, I have these pretty, pretty tan pieces of, of, of lining from a cardboard that I got. And on in this, because it's white over here, I'm gonna start putting it on this one. Anywhere, no, mm, no uh, rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, like Shannon uh, Green would say. And I always give her credit to what I remember that she, that I learned from her, no, with no, for no rhyme or reason, I'm just going through the motions of gluing something I pick up and I'll just randomly put it or if I am strategically putting something, I give it a thought, I put it on, I take it off, I'll fold this here and so on. All right, and people are celebrating these days, different holidays, different celebrations. Um, putting up Christmas trees, putting a lot of ornaments. I and wouldn't it be so pretty if we could if people did that like knew that they could celebrate every day. I know that I can celebrate every day. 
However, I don't take for granted everything that's available to beautify our trees and homes and stuff like that. All right, so I am gonna focus, I think, on this page. So I have these papers here. Where am I on time? I got 10 minutes. I, I've shown these papers before and I have yet to use any one of them. So let me start picking. Hi, the both sides are so pretty. Okay, so what part do I like the most out of this paper? <gasps> It's easy to, it, it is done that it's easy to choose what all right I'm gonna go for that I can in though so yes somebody I I what do you call a person that speaks a lot of languages because I am speaking more than one language I am enjoying learning uh, right now I'm learning Korean and uh, some French but more I'm focused more right now on Korean language and why because I want to understand what they're saying in their programming I watch their uh, k-dramas and um, and I like to support their talent and when they're speaking or greeting I want to understand what they're saying okay let's see mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But now it's time. Ooh, that looks good there. See, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. This side won my taste right now. Okay. So, one of the things in junk journaling is one creates a background to then possibly create an inspiration and and create a page right like but i love the process of creating backgrounds um to me they're finished uh but yet the opportunity hold on i got a fan right in my face where do i put it so that it keeps the i'm gonna put the fan hold on i got an itty bitty fan look how cute this is <laughs> but right on my face it has two speeds let me see maybe this speed okay and the beautiful thing about this is that it's connected uh through the uh, usb i can put in a power bank um and and i can portably use it in the area where my art channel is the there is no let me see where the the ac vent is in the kitchen and um okay i'm gonna leave this out and um and sometimes it feels warm and of course i have my apron on and that adds apparently it was cold outside okay let's see what else what other do i stay here and continue well, let me continue this way all right let's see what i have here I'm going to do a whole page. Let's highlight the zucchini right now. Zucchini, zucchini, zucchini is not said well. Zucchini, zucchini. Zucchini is a vegetable that looks somewhat like a cucumber. And, ah, oh, it's so yummy. It is so yummy, 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 yummy. Do I want the whole thing? No, let me cut this off. So what I like doing is like like tempura vegetables and tempura like fried it's like the vegetable well it is a vegetable um dipped in seasoned seasoned flour and then converted into you know fried or i like doing like the south korean um pancakes which have usually carrots and sometimes egg in it scallions um maybe carrot um cabbage and flour and it's, it's sometimes it's crispy and sometimes it's not right and then i like to eat it with a fried egg and um it's yummy all right so this is in honor of the zucchini that I love so much. And yes, it's going to be organic because I want to use in my land. And I totally retire 
from the regular corporate America. I want to be planting and um, planting what I want to eat. All right, zucchini, you got that place there. How much time do I got? Well, let's honor the garlic, which I love garlic. I add it to everything. Garlic, I add first, then onions. Garlic, salt and pepper, or salt and garlic for me with that. Woo! Delicious, delicious, delicious. So I believe that these, both these take about nine months after you sow them. And that is in honor to what it's saying here as well. You will reap with speed what you have sown. So garlic, that applies to everything. Our actions, whatever actions, those are seeds. Actions that we have towards our towards God, ourselves, people, family, friends, co-workers. Those we'll have a quick, we'll have uh, the, the harvest, we'll reap with speed. So with that in mind, I always um, pray that I do right and that all the people that I deal with in life are uh, kind and amicable and that um, that I bear lots of fruit um, for their glory. So remember I did these in the past. If you haven't seen me do this, um, there is a video in which I did paint these for background purposes. I'm going to put this one here. I like it like this, y'all. Yeah. Okay, and so I have like four minutes. Let me hurry up so that I can go ahead and glue this in place and add uh, the garlic and the zucchini on this side. Um, my channel I know is different because I'm not only creative, um, I am many things, right? Like I have all right, garlic. Let me do the garlic first. Okay, there, there, there. Yes. Okay. So, because I am a mom, a grandma, a holy angel, a Mekisa, the living God, Mekisa, that is bed, I am a co worker, I am a friend, I am a mother, I am a grandmother, and it is done. I am a farmer. Okay, so I got, oh, I got that in. Do I want to turn this over here? No, I'm going to cut it out. Ooh. Remember, this is called the rustic it's a rustic mm, do I leave this whole thing let's see I'm gonna leave it like that a rustic junk journal and I'm not trimming it perfectly because it's rustic you know all right so if you have any ideas on how to combine zucchini and garlic like I do, I slice these in like medallions. I season them with fresh garlic and then I do Parmesan, um, season with Parmesan and butter. Butter, people, butter. And with butter and then um, I saute those also. That's delicioso, if you ask me. And this itty bitty bitty, let me put it here because nothing goes to waste. I got two minutes left. Let's see. No rhyme for no rhyme with no rhyme or reason. Just go ahead and glue it. So thank you for joining me in these 15 minutes of um, watching me glue. May you be inspired to grab a piece of paper, anything. You know what I mean? Like anything. Um, like I made out of an envelope pieces of papers like this. You could recycle this and cut it in any dimension that you want. And then, you know, glue, paint, use crayons, what have you. Okay, so I did a little bit of everything. I did a little bit of everything, I think. Now, I used to say, why did they create a layer and now they're going over and it looks so good originally and what are they doing? Enjoying the process. You know, like a little kid, when you give a little kid a crayon, they start just going for it. Some have already an organized thought of what it is that they want to do. Or the teacher sometimes tell them, hey, the inspiration is this. Uh, draw something and that, you know, you're thinking. Whatever, whatever it is, the assignment. And the child goes for it. So, thank you for watching me play. 
until I see you next time. Thank you so much. And I will pause this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.